because it gives you a level of clarity that is genuinely unmatched. You know exactly what you need to do, when you need to do it, and why you need to do it. The key to getting organized and optimizing your life is to have a system. Today, I'm launching a mini series about how you can build this system for yourself. If you've been following my channel so far, I've been covering a lot of stuff about how you can start your own online businesses and stuff like that. But the point is you can't really do that unless you're organized and you have optimized systems to help you do that. What a lot of people do, they just get started. Just do it! which is a good thing. However, without a system, they get lost very fast. So what I want to do is to give you this system from the start so you don't get confused down the line and in a few short videos, prepare you for starting your own business, your course or whatever else it is. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of my system and the things that it allows you to do. This video, part one, is going to focus on why a system is even important and is going to give you the key important factors of having a successful system. Then in the following part, we will go into each of these sections one by one, explain the databases, how I connect everything together and how I automize 90% of the whole thing so that I literally only spend around 10 minutes a day using this system and around 30 minutes a week just to optimize it. I use Notion exclusively for basically everything I do from running businesses to doing my studies, tracking my diet and daily tasks and so on and so forth. One more note is that when I'm going to teach you this, I'm not really going to show you where to press and how to do things because at each part, I will include my Notion template down below so you can download it and follow along if you want. Let's get into it. let's get some housekeeping out of the way right away. This system that you see right now is my system and is exactly what I use to run two businesses while I was still doing my master's thesis at one of the top universities in uh, Munich, Germany, while I still had a part-time job and still being able to run everything else. And I'm super, super excited to actually share this with you guys because I think a system like this out there does not exist because I literally sat down and curated a ton of Notion templates, a ton of creators, amazing creators as well. And the people I've taken inspiration from, I will put the links in the description below. I've basically looked at a lot of these templates and then created something that I genuinely don't think a lot of people are using that is so simple to use and is so powerful at the same time. And that's why I love Notion because Notion allows you to do that. The relational databases, the roll up uh, properties, the advanced, uh, templates and self-referential filters and stuff that notion comes with that i know 99 percent of notion users are not using efficiently is literally gonna allow you to do everything automatically you set everything up once and then you only spend very 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 minimal effort just using it the way i've implemented organize and optimize is literally one single page in notion one of the key factors of a successful system that you can implement all of your life and business on is that it is simple to use and that's why this is the way I've implemented it. Everything, all of my databases are literally on this single page. And this is exactly what you will learn. I will tell you how you can set it up. We will talk about specific aspects of the properties, for example, that I've implemented and why I've implemented it like that. And then you will do it yourself. Every time I start to actually explain this system to anyone around me, I always start from areas, then go to values and goals. Then based on those, we create projects and tasks and then integrate those into our daily plan. To make this a bit more understandable for you, I've actually created this diagram. What you can see here is the overall structure of organize and optimize. As you can see, we have areas and then from areas, we create some values. From values, we create some goals. Based on those goals, we create some projects which themselves have a lot of tasks in them and then we might also have habits and they have multiple habits in them. And that's all implemented in this daily plan. Now, how does that actually look? Areas are things that do not have an end date and can be ongoing domains in your life. For example, health and fitness is an area in your life that you might care about and it doesn't have an end date. You always constantly throughout your life have to look into it. Personal finance is another one of them. Your mindset, productivity, hobbies, friends, traveling, all of these things are specific areas that you are interested in and they do not have an end date. So the first thing that you see here is I have a database called areas and I've split it between personal and business. So in my personal, for example, I have relationship, home, health, personal finance. And in my business, I have the businesses and I have investing, uh, YouTube, or whatever else in between. Then based on those areas, what I do next is that I go and create some values. 
values are things that ultimately will make you happier for the foreseeable future i would say somewhere around five years or less because more than that uh, sometimes your values in life do change so when i'm 25 one of my values is to for example travel a lot but when i'm 30 then my value might change to having a family so these things might change so that's why i usually set the values at a five-year period and the way we define values and goals will be covered in a video in the future but right now what i just want to show you is that from the areas we can come and create some values so as an example in the area of health I can come and say, feel healthier and look good in the mirror and love your body. This can be a core value, something that I genuinely care about when it comes to the area of health. In the area of mindset and stoicism, for example, which I care about, I can create a value called control your thoughts, feel less anxiety, feel more fulfilled and consistently learn new things. Again, as this video is an overview, I don't want to get too deep into it, but based on those areas, we just created some values and based on those values, we can now create some goals. Goals are specific, measurable stuff. I'm sure you've seen things such as smart goal settings, and there's a ton of videos on goals. But setting goals without the underlying reason why you want to set those goals or how you're going to achieve those goals is really, really pointless. That's why there's a lot of videos out there that say stop setting goals because setting goals alone is not going to achieve anything for you. So what we want to do actually is that we set goals based on our values, which are one level up and then execute on those goals with our projects, which is one level down. So for example, based on the value that I just set in my area of health, I had the value feel healthier and look good in the mirror. And now I've set the goal for it that's called lose 7.5 kilograms specifically in quarter three of 2021 so this is very measurable i can see exactly why i need to lose 7.5 kilograms because it's one of my core values in the area of health and now i can go and create a project based on it. and that's exactly what we do next level up and it's called projects and in my project list i can for example create a project called learn about losing weight the right way and exercise. I can put an energy level for it and then relate it to the goal and the values that I just talked about. So the things that you're actually going to work on in your quarter or in a specific finite period of time is all defined and pushed forward based on your areas and values and goals. Now here's where actually it gets really interesting. We went through this process of areas, values, goals, and projects and created things that we want to execute on. We know we want to do these projects specifically in the next quarter, for example, because it will make us ultimately happier. So based on those projects now, we can go and create some tasks and relate our tasks to our projects. So as an example, shoot ONO part one, which is this video that I'm shooting right now is related to the project of figuring out my goal with my YouTube channel. And then it's related to the area of YouTube. So on the 9th of August, when I actually go to execute this task, I know that this task is exactly related to figure out your goals with YouTube. And then based on that, I can come and see that project, figure out your goals with YouTube is related to the goal. Keep posting videos on YouTube and build an audience. So you have people to share your thoughts with. This is a goal for me. And I would love to do that now based on that goal, then I can see why does it even matter to me? because it's a core value for me to build an audience that loves to listen to me and connecting with people from around the world. When you actually go to execute your task, you know that every single thing that you're going to do in your day is gonna push forward those goals and those core values so that you can work towards them one step at a time and use the compounding effect of executing things to achieve things that you want in your life when you want them. So the tasks actually tell me what I need to do, but it doesn't tell me when I need to do them. And that's where the daily tracker comes in. The daily tracker actually focuses on executing tasks and habits and the things that you want to do in your day in specific time periods that is optimized for efficiency. So for example, I know I am more creative in the mornings. So when I have a creative task, such as writing a script, such as shooting a video, then I will schedule them in the morning so that I can do those things in the morning. And in the afternoon after lunch, I know that I'm going to be a bit more lazy. So I'm going to focus on more organizational tasks by just sending some emails out and stuff like that. So for example, we can look at the daily plan. As you can see, this is for 
Monday calendar week 32 2021 and today is the August 9th and we can create a plan automatically by using Notion templates and pull in information from our task list and our projects list and so on and so forth automatically into this day plan. So for example, if from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock, I'm going to be executing my creative deep work session in that I can actually automatically pull in the tasks that I need to do. So I can see exactly what needs to be done when. And then in my organizational period, when I want to do some tasks, I can bring on exactly the task that needs to be done in that period. You can even take this to the next level by integrating your habits into it, by integrating your meal preps and the food that you're going to eat, by integrating the exercises. And the cool thing is this is all pulled in automatically for you. All I need to look into to execute those tasks and to push forward my projects, goals, and values is to actually just look at the daily tracker, open up the task that I need to get done on that day. And as you can see, everything is pulled in automatically for you for that specific day. Don't worry about setting these up. The point of this video is to tell you why it is important to have a system like this and how powerful it is because it gives you a level of clarity that is genuinely unmatched. You know exactly what you need to do, when you need to do it, and why you need to do it. And the last one, the why is so important because it tells you why you're doing that task. Why does it even matter? It matters because it's a project and that project is pushing forward a goal and that goal is pushing forward a core value in your life. So those are the main organizational stuff. On top of that, we also have the Knowledge Hub where we actually capture everything as our knowledge management system. I also produce YouTube videos and for example, blog posts and stuff. So we also have a content tracker where we actually pull all the information that we capture and then create new stuff with it. I admit the initial setup might look a bit scary, especially if you're not a Notion expert. But don't worry about this. The template is there exactly for this reason. And in the following videos, I will tell you exactly what you need to do as I'm doing it with you so that you don't get lost. But the point is, by the end of this mini series, you have created your areas. You would have created some core values in those areas and then set your goals for the next quarter and a quarter after that, for example, based on those values and then created projects to go and achieve those goals. And then every week, for example, you can create your tasks based on your projects and then integrate those tasks, which tell you what to do into your daily tracker, which tells you when to do them. Finally, the cherry on top, we will also do a personal knowledge management system that is literally your second brain. You can put everything in it, you can organize it, and you can basically use the content and the information that you've captured to create new videos, to be more creative, create blog posts, newsletter, or whatever else in between. So this is part one of eight in this mini series. And from next video, the video format will be quite different where we actually sit and implement everything together. And in the next video, we're gonna focus on areas, values, and goals. So by the end of it, you would have set your areas you would have set the values that you care about and you will set your goals that's about it guys i hope this video gave you some clarity as to what you're going to learn in this series and i'll catch you guys very soon in the next video peace